be here and today we have a new episode in the art review series and today we'll check out the work of Virgil Hu. Now I found this guy through a channel, a it was I think it's called Digital Painting uh, CG or China something and I found this channel and his profile through that. Um, I will link all of the these links in the description below and Virgil Hu focuses a lot on babes <laughs> very cool uh, i would put him in the category like i've done i believe an art review an art review of sang delon and also sasa melody and i believe i would put virgil who along with these artists heavy on the chicks but chicks character design but highly rendered and it's very impressive um virgil who does have videos on this digital painting channel but also he has his own channel so I will link all of that in the, again, description below. And I do believe Virgil is a, a thigh guy because I see a lot of thighs in his work. And if you see his process of painting, it's pretty direct, which I'm very attracted by. But as he keeps working, working through the painting, um, you can tell definitely with the face, like it becomes so semi-realistic. And I think it's very impressive seeing seeing this kind of work, you know, especially with the whole AI thing. Sometimes people forget that people can do this kind of highly rendered look like in actual reality, you know. So I think this guy is a good representation <laughs> of how high quality you can get while still being fun about it. So there is a lot of semi-realism in his work. The anatomy sometimes it's skewed a bit, but it's mostly realistic. And so let's focus on this chick. She seems cool. I kind of like the pose from the thumbnail. Look at how nice that hand looks. Now the face does look somewhat similar to all of his, his pieces and that's kind of okay. Like you will see some slight variety per character and I think that's enough. I think it's good for artists to have like that one face for a chick, one face for a guy and then from there you can always mold and adjust uh, depending on the situation. Or context. I love the hands though. The this hand holding the this kind of fiery sword or magical sword, and also this more um, relaxed hand. I do like how as you go further down, you can see the it's it gets kind of rougher, but as you go further up, it becomes more detailed. So you don't have to render or highly blend the entire. Look at how ugh, like it's so realistic. Like the the shadows. Like I, I believe this whole area is called the the like the way the shadows are done with the lighting. Um, I, I hear words or terms like ambient occlusion or inclusion. I'm not really sure what it means, but it pretty much I, whenever people talk about realistic lighting, they tend to use those terms. So maybe this is, this this is what's happening here. Who knows? But it's not just one like shadow or value. There's a lot of subtle gradients which I really like. It makes it look, look way more realistic and um, even the way the armpit is done, the clavicles, you can see a bit of chest muscles here, the pecs because you have the boob. Under the boob you actually have like chest muscles so you can tell this chick is actually, she's not like a frail um, character, like she actually works out but yeah. And then like again, it, uh, the, the, I see some blurs being used in the background. And this character, like the silhouette or the main, the full image was reused in the background. You can tell it's in, it just adds a bit more something. It, it kind of just fills in the background, the, the plain white background. Um, and if you see this guy paints, he paints again very directly. And this part right here, he'll just use the erase tool to cut these parts out. And if he can do it by like manually, he'll just do it manually. The occasional blurs, but everything else is just direct. And he has this, sometimes he'll use like a triangle, a very basic brush. Like you would expect him to use like a texture brush or something, but, or her. I think it's a guy. Even the profile picture of Virgil Hu, I think it's painted by him or her. I think it's a him. Like the style is just so consistent and I, I like it. Even the hair, it looks nice. So for this chick, is there a difference? I'm not sure why it's posted twice. Oh, the uh, the stockings, I guess, or this this net thing. Hopefully, it won't get banned. Please don't report this. Um, but look at them thighs, though. I love this light red gradient. It's the gradient, like a uh, 
Because in the knees, it does get somewhat red, like elbows, knees. So that's very interesting. I like the feet. It's actually well rendered because usually you would kind of skip this part, like the hands and the feet, like... Because it's already hard. Like the face itself is already kind of hard, so ugh, you, you kind of just skip it. These parts right here, but the legs look so nice and smooth and very realistic. And look at the, the folds for this um, drapery, not drapery, but this attire. It's kind of like, it's very similar to the last thing we saw. Like one part was more rendered than the other. Like the, 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 the chick with the red clothing. I believe in that part, in the left hand side, it was more kind of like this, where it's very basic. And then on the right hand side, it was more rendered or more fleshed out. So you don't have to, again, you don't have to render everything. So it's it, it's kind of nice to see. Not everything has to be fully rendered, like Sakimi-chan level types of um, <laughs> uh, rendering. And again, lots of like uh, elemental strokes here for like the powers and stuff in its own layer and played around with the, the erase tool to cut off the edges. And even this edge right here, it's not even that clean, but it, it works. Like if some parts of it are very realistically done, lighting, rendering, the way the folds are done, like the way the fat pierces through this net thing, this fishnet type of thing. Like having this amount of realism can compensate for the, the more vaguer or rougher stuff. So I think you can have both and it's fine. So that's also a good takeaway to take away <laughs> from Virgil Hu's work. So we'll check out one more. I like the samurai chick. Is it this one? I think it's this chick. Don't worry, now you can't see shit. Oh, here's a process. I'm a GIF file. I say GIF. So line work and then look at the rendering. It looks so nice. Like it's very direct layer by layer, but it's not that clean. Uh, the process rather like you don't have like a line sketch and then you color everything within that line sketch like it's very rough in the beginning and even and even along the uh, the painting process uh you'll see him use the lasso tool sometimes and pull things push things use the uh, the warp or liquify tool um and yeah he does use photoshop for the, the paintings and renderings uh, for this kind of thing so the knees look so nice to the legs. It looks so realistic. And even the face, like wow. I like how there's a slight blush in a lot, in a lot of his characters. Even the way the hair is done. I mean. Damn. So if you're working on your babe work or your chick type of artwork, if you're focusing more on girl characters or women, and you're kind of well, because when it comes to like the the attire i see a lot of like uh, enough variety in terms of clothing uh but definitely i see a lot of play with the uh like you'll see like knights samurais cyberpunk ish sometimes like viking ish designs spacesuits so you'll see a lot of uh like not everything is shown through skin or not everything is like open and um, out there and you can even see some environment stuff too in the background sometimes. If you're trying to work on your human anatomy, especially when it comes to rendering, and if you're focusing more on like women or female characters, I do recommend the work of Virgil Hu. And if you're more of a direct painter, I recommend checking out his channel, his YouTube channel, or the, the other channel, which I'm going to link in the description below. And if you're trying to up your rendering game, definitely, again, check out the work of like kind of the semi-realistic look if you're trying to go for that check out this again the work of virgil who so hopefully you enjoyed this episode i'll see you in the next art review bye